It's Tim Albright with Aviation with the Road to ISE. Integrated Systems Europe happens the 31st of January through the 3rd of February. And with me to talk about the Christie stand is Mr. Joel St. Denis from Christie. Welcome, sir. Thank you very much. Uh, Joel, Christie Digital is coming back. Uh, Christie's stand is always uh, bright and exciting with all kinds of, of really great visuals. Uh, you are in Hall 3, K as in Kangaroo 600, 3K600. So we walk into the stand at, at ISE this time. What will we find from Christie? Yeah, thanks for having me. And uh, yeah, we, what we always try to do, because we're such a visual company, we want people to come to the booth and have an experience when they go through the booth, not only uh, in, in nice imagery, but also we always try to tie in various products we have to create a complete solution from our, you know, from our, our video processors, uh, generating the content through our um, uh, spider that's basically creating windowed content, spreading all over the booth. Then we're distributing that signal through our Terra SDVOE product. And then finally, what the end user ends up consuming is the visual uh, imagery that you're getting, whether that's coming from a projector or uh, an LED display or a flat panel. Um, so we've done the same this year. Uh, what well, we, we've kind of split up the booth in different zones. Um, so you're going to basically walk in and then sort of on the left side, we have some really cool um, micro tile LED displays where we're showing uh, a shatter wall that's uh, we've shown a similar one at previous shows. And it's really blown people away what we're doing with the non-traditional use of LED. You know, it's not a standard 16 by 9. It's this cool wall. So we have that on the left and we're also showing showcasing the uh, the newer micro tiles as well, the smaller uh, dot pitch micro tiles uh, in that area with some with some hands on touchy feely stuff, which is cool. Then right behind that, you're going to see our our processing area where we're showcasing Pandora's box and um, Spider, and we've also got a cool display where we have we're introducing a brand new product in our ATS series. It's going to be a new 4K high brightness. I'm not going to spill the beans yet because we're doing the press release in about six days on that, but. Uh, we're going to have that in a cool, uh, interactive um, uh, uh, experience where you're going to walk into this little room. You'll be able to interact, and we'll have some notch real-time effects happening uh, in there as well, showcasing this new uh, 4K projector. Above that, we have a couple uh, HS20, uh, DW23s. It's a 23,600 lumen projector uh, that we launched back in September. It's going to be the premiere of it being shown at the show. And we have like this triangular shape. We're going to have these two projectors cross shooting onto this triangular shape. That'll be pretty neat. And then we get into the, the more traditional uh, projected 16 by 8 type, type displays with our high brightness products, our Griffin series. We, we Last year, we did the tech preview of the 50K Griffin series. Um, and we're showcasing also this year the Griffin uh, 35K, same form factor, but this one's available on 35,000 lumens. So we're going to have both. We're going to do uh, be doing standard and portrait display, uh, showcasing these projectors um, in a cool with some cool content. We also have some takeover stuff where we can basically hit a button and the entire booth can be showing content, um, you know, the same type of content. And then we go back to each zone showing your traditional stuff. So that'll be pretty neat as well. And then below that, we have um, a couple, uh, uh, one of our uh, lower brightness products, our 1DLP, uh, it's DW1100. A couple of those blended together with a new accessory that we have, which we're calling the Christie Intelligent Camera. Uh, it allows you to use things like Mystique Light to um, align the projectors and blend them. But one of the new things this camera is bringing to the table is the ability to autofocus, auto color match, things that uh, haven't been available in that class of product before. So we're going to be showcasing that with live demos where people can actually come and play with it and so on. Uh, and then finally, we have um, uh, some access series uh, um, LED as well. And um, and yeah, basically the whole booth is going to kind of be like the idea is you come in, you kind of walk through, you get to experience the various uh, examples of how our products can be used. And hopefully from there, uh, folks get a good idea of if some of those products will fit into their projects. So Dennis, the, the, that certainly is is a lot of visuals and a lot of, you know, um, hardware. I'll talk for a second, though, because a couple of things that, that folks I want to make sure that they understand is, Yes, Christie has you know some, some some really remarkable digital displays and and you know projection, but there's a lot of software driving that. Talk for a second about how you're able to not only bring the dealers along but also explain to to end users 
what this software is capable of doing. And you, you'd mentioned the takeover, but also if you're blending projectors, that's software, right? If you're doing projection mapping, that's software. Um, you, you've got software built into projectors that will fix uh, auto, you know, auto, auto frame and, and fix it if, if the projector gets jostled in any way, shape or form. So explain kind of how you're able to communicate that to dealers and end users. Yeah, for sure. Thanks for asking. Uh, that is one of the things that we pride ourselves on is unlike um, some other uh, companies in the industry that predominantly just focus on the hardware, we do have a fairly substantial uh, software footprint uh, through our media servers, our, our processing software, um, our alignments tools. And we, have, we actually have a team that will actually work with integrators to help deploy this software and show, train, them, train them on how to use the software to make their life easier. And effectively, that's what we're trying to do. You know, you, you have somebody who spends a lot of money putting together a really nice projection display, multi-blended projectors for a show and experience. And, you know, projectors will drift over time. The vibrations will cause them to move a little bit. So it's it's a constant. You need to readjust those. So having software tools that are allowing you to do this uh, or the ability to do real-time corrections, as you mentioned, um, uh, and, and able to use media servers to render real-time content, these are all things that really... Um, if you if you will add value to your complete offering, you're not just selling displays. You're selling displays. You're selling the solution. You're selling the software that keeps it all looking good, like it did on day one, on an ongoing basis. And I think that's a really important aspect of what differentiates Christie from some of the other manufacturers out there. Yeah, absolutely. All right, Joel. Uh, we will see Christie Digital at Hall Three K, as in Kangaroo Six Hundred Three K Six Hundred. But not everybody is going to Barcelona, so if they're not and they want to follow, follow along with everything that Christy Digital will be talking about that week, how do they do that? Uh, you can just visit our website at christydigital.com, and you'll see there's uh, information there about not only the latest news and press release, the things we're launching at the show, but you can go in-depth and look at whatever product you want and specs. And finally, from there, you can get contact information or reach out to your local uh, Christy salesperson. All right, very good. Joel St. Denny, thank you much from Christie Digital. Uh, for us, for AV Nation, go by our website, avnation.tv. That's avnation.tv, and follow along as we also head to Barcelona for ISC 2023, 31st of January through the 3rd of February. All that and more at avnation.tv. That's avnation.tv.